Alright, so today we are doing a VOD review for one of my viewers. Ooh, he's playing Fizzerino. Al Pacino. And basically, I'm just gonna go over him and talk about where he's at currently in skill wise, elo wise, where I think he should be. Uh, and I am the Zed, and I play a game with them. He just. Lucky, okay, so. He has two uh, accounts for me. Oh, one, well, he has one for him, one for him, one for me, on the EU servers. So I just got in a game, and I'm on, I'm on the EU account. This is the account I'm on right now. The, his extra. Okay. So uh, he's a uh, he's silver two, I believe. Or uh, silver. Actually, I could quite check right now, right? Hold on, let me check. Uh, he he, I think he thinks he's worse than he actually is. But I think he's like probably like gold tier, cause so, cause and he also, he also plays differently. Like he he thinks certain things are better than Fizz than than I would think, but it, um it works out for him sometimes. Over. What I would do. He's like uh, silver, like I think low silver is what he w is where he would be if he were to get ranked right now. All right, well, okay. So already, uh, I talked about this in the video. It's it's important to stand like around here. I would just stand wh wherever the jungler is, is jungling, and you just give him vision on that side. Because if you don't, like they can usually just like what they would typically do, hug the wall, w wrap around, and and, and gank, invade. And and then you wouldn't want want to reveal until uh, the show. Uh, Annie d is didn't Q him for some reason. What she should have done was was Q auto and back up, and that would have been like that would that would have been like three autos, and she would have taken like only one less round of minion aggro. So well, let's back up a little bit. So. Already, I see this and I'm like, okay, uh, start E. And if you start E, the way the way Annie walks up, right, you you, you just hop and she'll be right here. Okay, she just looks pretty stupid already. She looks really dumb. Uh, you hop and then you you hit all the minions and then you hit her and then you disengage and if she autos you. She'll take like just the same amount of minions that she would take if she were to Q auto you because she slowed. And she doesn't want to auto you when she slowed because she's it's like it's like uh being, being slowed on the tower. You take an extra tower shot. But you win this trade though because she takes like for the, the, these do like 24 each, so <laughs> she took like a lot, a lot of damage from minions, like 200 almost. So that's not that's not the worst. And from the looks of the wave and how it's going, if she pushes in really hard and continues to shove it, you're gonna get level three before her because it's it just the cannon is gonna be under your tower. So this is really good. Uh, maybe starting W was was uh. The optimal choice here because it doesn't shove the wave in like so far so that like this happens where it happens right because you you started W and not E. See like again we have different we have we have different priorities and sometimes it works out for him what, what he what he does differently and sometimes what I would do differently would, would work for me but um, yeah I respect it so far and right here. When I see this, I'm just gonna. Ch I I would want to try to push this as far as hard as I can. Uh, maybe maybe even like walk up here, hit the mage minions, wait for her to, to throw. Out. I'm just hypothetically speaking, right? I might not do this. I might not see it, but right now I'm seeing it. Uh, walk up here, like the second the the cannons come in. Oh, this like yeah, just e this, just e this. I like, get get this and this e this. And, and so so that way like it, like it just pushes faster because we want level three. And by the time you get level three, like your E should be up and everything should be up, right? Okay. Uh, she's scared. I I don't know if she's aware of your level three. From the way she's been playing so far, she really tells me that that, that she's inexperienced and doesn't understand l levels and spikes right? or trading at all. So you could abuse this. Alright, that sucks, but you know, <laughs> that happens. 
It happens. Uh, he goes in. Nice, nice, nice. I like this. It's the honor. Auto. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. E. E. Okay. That's that was actually really good, right? See what I would have done there. Okay. Um. See, like that. It's like it's like uh his his style and my style. Uh, this is immediately really good, right? What she should have done is, is she should have uh not walked right here, but been more on this side. And if she, whenever she goes for CS, you need to punish the fuck out of her, it's especially since she has like no stuns up for like I don't know, like like two rotations, right? She won't have a stun. So so during this, this is perfect what he does. Like he immediately just goes in. Uh, actually, we go back just a little bit more, and we'll, we'll see what he, he's sneaking. Okay, right now he's sneaking. All right, level three, level three, level three. I didn't get level 3? Okay, this one's level 3, for sure. Level 3. And then he's like, okay, yeah, yeah, we get this farm. And what he does right here is important, because a lot of people would, would, would take what I'm saying and just immediately walk towards her. But that's that's not what you want to do, because at that point it's obvious, and you need to burn too much in your kit, and they'll just back up, and you won't get much done, and you, you'll lose a trade cause, because of that. But he, he realizes that, like, okay, farm's more important in this situation, and, and, it, and even if I were to go, it would be too obvious. So that's smart on him. I... Man, he's really good. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, he says he's not that good, but I think he's he's really he's a really good fizz. Uh, in some situations, he would be better than me. In some situations, right? <laughs> okay. All right. So he goes in. Okay, right here it was was important. What, the, the way he moved. Uh, let's say if Annie w was brain dead and would just stay here, moving this way was 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 pretty good. But 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 you need to like instantly react to her movement, and 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 you should have been like right here. Uh, should have been right here. Uh, right, like, like, just, like keep up with her and, and where, where she where she wants to go, and and put yourself in, where, as as close to where she wants to go as you can. But uh, I think I think some phases would have let this get away, or was not w wouldn't even ever think of doing this because they just don't understand like my 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 trading, my lethal, my power spikes, etc. Okay, okay. Alright, so her, her cooldowns are down. She won't be able, she won't have a stun, I'm pretty sure. Um, at this point, I, I would have I would have e, e flashed, right? So, like, uh, I think I would have E flashed a bit sooner. What time are we at? Alright, well, we can watch this engage again. Alright, that's good. Uh, yeah. It just, it just, you lost a little bit. Just a little bit of, of, of ground. Uh, and, and maybe uh, you could have like uh, eat more. So, so right here, I, I would have eat, right? Because if she flashes, I'm gonna flash and keep up with her and then queue through her and get, go to safety. And it'll just make this make this engage a lot faster. Uh, let's say let's say if Kane was was right here or right here, right? And, and he was gonna go around this way. If, but then he sees you chasing and then he goes down this way and walks through this wall because because uh, it takes like three seconds like longer for you to kill her. Uh, then, then you probably would have been in, in, in a little bit of trouble because you burned flash as well. But if, if you would have just if she if she was right here coming down this way, and then we saw the go this way and that she's already dead, and 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 you could have really assume that Kane's on top side because you look at your Kane, and or like, you can't understand his route. Wow, what? There's a difference. <laughs> there's a difference in clear here. <laughs> what happened? What? <laughs> okay. But uh, then again, I'm using 2020 hindsight from looking at everything, you know. So. Uh, who knows what 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 really would have happened, or what you what re was really optimal here? But you got the kill, you secured it, and you got away with it. So that's really good. Uh, let's watch this again. I thought, oh, yeah. See, I, I would have eat here, um, flashed, just ju just to avoid any kind of counterplay, right? Because if she was was able to, cause her her um, EQ were, were up, right? So she could have. EQ to uh, uh, stunned you, and you probably would have died there. No. Let me. Let me see. Because if I didn't eat here, and then she flashes, I would wait for the tower shot to come down to to hit me, and then I would eat before it hits me. So you're you're at you take for five fifty. Okay. Hmm, this might be better what you did. And you could have probably soloed this guy. Uh. 
pain you messed up that E there a little bit, but I think you're fine. Oh no. Yeah, okay, um. If you would have done what I did, I think you, you would have it would have been faster for you. You probably would you, you would have been like right here when you when you saw him. Instead of like right here. Uh and you probably would have only taken like you would have taken the same amount of tire shots, so that's not the biggest of deal. But the thing is is that if she would have stunned you or like so like a, a proper Annie would would have stunned you right there, like she would have died, you would have gotten away, but she, you would be taking like like an extra tower shot than, than you should have. And this would make this engage impossible for you to win. I think you could have won this. Uh, if you dodged his his uh his knock up whatever, but um yeah let's, let's just play like like you couldn't because like technically speaking if they're all uh, using the brain then <laughs> I I say that but like I don't think Annie's really trying you know and I don't think Kane's really trying I don't think anyone in this game is really trying maybe the Urgot that I'm playing against he's he's wild <sighs> basically basically like when your team's doing terrible you you, you just need to be able to to kill the people that are, that are slitting, kill the people that are pushy lanes, and just try your best to. Oh, you shouldn't. Okay, well, if you're going. To, okay, what were you doing going down? Okay, you placed a word there. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, but like, see right here. All right, he didn't even get the W off. Uh. I think it's something that you're just not aware of, really. Uh, let's watch that again. And then, and then I can point out specifically wait, what I'm talking about here. Okay. So I think warding right now, uh, it's probably whatever. Uh, it's probably not that important. Uh, over over um, stopping her from, from CSing or punishing her. Because she has proven to to us that she's not she's not um, the best Annie, right? She's pretty terrible. So so obviously she's going to take like half her health for a cannon. So so if you were here earlier, you could have queued, autoed, autoed. Uh, I would have stunned you, huh? It's okay to use your E in these traits because Kane's not on the map right now, right? Uh, where is he at? Where is Kane? He's bot lane. You know Kane's bot lane. So it's okay to use your E to harass. It's super important too. So if if you were to, uh, to Q auto and then when she does out her E stun, you just E, and 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 then you get your W off, and then you basically get your full kit off on her. Uh, but what, what I would do when when the, you don't know where the jungler is, right? And but you still need to need a trade because you have your corruption potion. You got like max fucking uh, charges. Where are you at? Yeah, yeah, max charges. You you wanna make some EV positive trades? You know, make her use her health pots. You would you you would just just cure. All right, it's pretty obvious that you're looking for for an for an engage here. Uh, uh, you need better movement. Be closer to be closer to the minion wave. Uh, pre have better presence here, and by stop. It's my cat. She's biting my mouse cord. Yeah, I'll move her later. Maybe she keeps acting up. But yeah, you just better movement, better positioning. You know, better presence here, and and your zone off also has to make her have to trade with you. I think it's okay to eat to eat a stun against Annie if if you're just a far ahead already. If if you just have corruption potion, if you have more damage in her, if you win the trade, even though you get stunned, I think it's that's fine. So right here, you, you, you E in? Okay, I don't think you needed to E in. You need to get the W off. You rushed it, you could have got the W off, but then she could have stunned you on the tower maybe. I don't know. That would, uh, it's, I don't understand what was going through her head. But what you need to do is just Q, w, um, Q auto W, and if you can't get that off, don't go in. It, it's not worth it, because using your, your E to do dodge things it's so much more important um, exiting than, than than entering because not, not only do you dodge like like uh, maybe her stun uh, after you go in you you slow her so she can't like, if she wants to follow up or something she can't she can't keep it she she has she has to stop the engage right there and and you want her you want to pressure the fuck out of it right like you want to stay and in, in, in you want your distance to be just outside her Q range, so that if she steps up and she uh, and, and she she wants to save it a bit or something, she'll take mini aggro, right? Uh, if she steps up and the minions like change aggro, like they're gonna change on her because she's so far up. Uh, and, then, and then you come back in, you come back in, 
and 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 you make it realize like okay I need to auto I need to last hit with my auto because he's gonna get, jump on me right and I don't want that I need to stun him when he jumps on me so that's why that's why I need to be more more a little bit more aggressive here like you're still you're still ahead you're still in the lead even though she has stun you still have the advantage because because your advantage is she has to save stun and she can't last hit the minions that's your advantage okay now she stuns gone like right here even on the tower I, I would be right here sitting right here. Uh, like okay, I'll be sitting right here, but then the second her stuns on, I would approach up here, and and just Q auto W E out, and and that's like like uh, about four. Okay, toast. I'm sorry. I gotta move you. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. All right. So even right here, where are we right now? Annie. Five thirty three. I was thinking I'd look at your runes and masteries after the game, but uh, right here, you probably could have taken like 300 of her health out and buy and, and make her back and miss like a, like a big wave or something, and and you'll get six and you come back to lane and then you just one shot her. And you don't have to worry about it much. But you're pretty back far back for it though. Kane's not on the map. I think if you worry about Kane, then yeah, that's that's that's, that's fine. But this is where where this word doesn't really come into play in in protecting it, right? Uh, when you when you push it in, like when they waves under the tower, right? like like uh, maybe 15 seconds ago, you probably could have walked up here and word. Or if you think Kane was down here, you could have walked down here, drop a word right here, or right here, right? Or wh where you think Kane would want to enter against you? fine that's good that's actually really good uh, you didn't need to jump and you saved it there that protects you against so much all right how close is it to six all right like, she's gonna get six over you I think if this you need to push this way back against her I would push this way back against her like I would I would, I would auto the minions eat the minions even make her make her throw something at me and then eat the minions Just cause like if I get six off this wave, uh, she's dead. Alright, I hear I was down here and probably kill her. Yeah, that's something that I would probably do. But you, but you need to recognize that that uh, you're lethal. Uh, the second you're, you're E and they don't have flash and they're at that health, it's checkmate. Yeah, they're done. Okay, I like how he's pushing it really hard. He knows that he's gonna get six. Get six. All right, messes up the tech. This is, she could have thrown out everything at him. You probably would have died, but you would have gotten the kill. It would have been, it wouldn't have been worth it because of the way the minions were. Or maybe it would have, if because uh, by the time you get back to tower, the minions would be right, right at your, your tower, and they're go deny it. But imagine if you landed your shark, you probably could have won this. Again, it's being more efficient. And you need to be faster. I don't know if it's your ping or what. But you need to be faster with your. Uh, like you need to practice it. Cause right, right, right now, like you're, you're six. Even if level one Guppy lands on her, she's it's over, and and you take no damage. Okay, shark should come out like right here, is where sharks come out. But instead, uh, I don't, I don't think you cancel your, your animation at all, and it just comes out like right here or something. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Okay. That's funny how you missed that. <laughs> but uh I think I think you you, you kind of slipped up and you weren't comfortable doing it, which is why you should go and practice tool and just keep doing that and practice it and see see how fast you can get it to come out and how reliable your your mouse your mouse movement is or aim is. And usually what what I do, I just click them. Right, or I just click like like right here, because if I'm entering, at, at, there's, a, there's a there's a technique or like a mind thing, a psychological thing called called shepherding. Uh, Lee Sins uses this a lot, so let's go like right here, right. Um, let's say uh, Lee Sins right here, right, and and the the enemies right here, and Lee Sins in the brush, right, but 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 the, they're walking down this way. 
what 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 Lisa will do is is he he he'll, he'll um instead of war hopping directly to them, he'll war hop this way, right? And then and then they'll see that and then they'll, they'll, they'll run up, right? And then and then it's easy to predict where they're gonna go at that because because you you word it down, they move up and then you queue them, and that's a, almost like a confirm queue. Uh, let's do this again over here. Uh, cause I don't think I did it. I don't think I really told you why it works. So if Lisa's right here and his target's right here, and he he war hops at an angle this way, he's gonna make them run this way. And 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 then and then that's a queue. That's an easy queue. Uh, he does it this way. They're gonna they're, they're gonna run up this way. That's an easy queue confirmed. Almost. It, that's that's if they react that way, and they typically do. It's a uh, uh, it's a habit of a lot of people. That's why it's called shepherding. You just kind of you kind of herd them in a certain direction. So you can do the same with 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 your queue, with your gap closer, right? Because uh, because if I move down, they're gonna move up, right? So or if I move if I queue in this way, they're gonna move this way. It's they're just just gonna mirror your movement, right? Just to stay away from you, try to juke you. Uh. So that's why when you queue this way, she's probably gonna if she's this down this way, she's probably gonna move down more. Right? So this is why you would wanna queue this way. Or R that way. Alright, I, I would opt for a, a slower E there. But that's just like I like I like slow slower E's and faster E's, but that faster E was, was better than, than a slow E right there. And right here you, you don't need to shove it the rest of the way, right? Um, if I were you, I will let I'll just leave it because it, that's enough minions for you to back and get back in time, and 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 she'll you'll deny her like a whole wave and a half of CS, and you'll get you'll get back in time to farm the wave. Yeah, you can just back right now. That's fine. You just back right now. I don't know if you see it, but with, with, with Kenny coming in, he's gonna push it in. Yeah, that's kind of lame. But what are you gonna do? I don't know why you didn't stop your back. It's weird. <sighs> Alright, so I. Uh, let's see what you do. You single Ebony, me is missing. Hey, you just trade. See if you react. That's good. She, your shark's up. You should just ulti. Just ulti right now. Just throw it out. If it misses, it's fine. If it lands, she, she dies. Right? Like. I would do. Uh, I would. I would. I would like right now where you are. Just queue this way. So I'll be like over here, and then just ulti it down, because she should move down. She's a, she's a sheep. You just hurt her. <laughs> it's ulti. Just throw it out. I don't know what you're waiting for. Like her movements are pretty predictable. Like uh, yeah, you throw it straight. She moves up and down. You can even ulti right now, like up close. Oh, that's good. That's good. I don't know how you managed to dodge that without ulting. What the heck? Why didn't you just ult you? That's in you're, you're insane. Let me pull that back some. Oh, it's on cooldown. It's, it tells me it wasn't. That's weird. You have flash. You have ignite. Okay. Uh, that's good. Last hit tippers, that's 50 gold. Hey, okay. Yeah, you, you could abuse terrible players, you could punish them, that's good. Yeah, uh, you need, I guess people like, like, like Kane, uh, you need to throw, throw your shit out sooner. Like, the second you see him, you just need to know. Like, like, I hear you're thinking about wh how, how to approach this right now, and you're thinking about wh where I should be, where I should throw my ult. Uh, you should already know that. That he's dead. The second he shows up right here, you just ulti, you ulti at him. He's gonna walk straight towards you. You just ulti him, and he's he's done. Or or let's back up some. Yeah, this is, this comes with, with like knowing your lethal, knowing storing storing your damage, knowing your damage on other champions, right? Uh, Kane goes down early damage early on. He doesn't get any any kind of tank. So and uh, you're you're all you had you had shown the waters, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you did. You do, you do. And you have flash too. Which one the fuck? Okay, the second you see this, you just ulti. <laughs> you just ulti. The, the, immediately, you just ulti, right? Because 
what's gonna happen is if he reacts to it and dodges it for some reason, then you're free. You just leave, right? Uh, nothing happens. You're 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 good. You're good. Cause cause uh, Annie used to just hold her ult, so it, the, you're you're just having advantage. Um, cooldown right, Y is in lane, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, uh, but but if it lands, you kill him. <laughs> good, great. You have flash too, so you can keep up with him, follow him wherever he goes. It'll be worth it to kill him. But instead, uh, you see that and you're thinking, okay, where's he coming out of? I don't know where he's gonna come out of, come out of. I'm thinking, it comes out right here. Where's he gonna go? How am I gonna approach this? What if he does this? What if he does that? Um, my all, I need max range all if he has full health. Like you're thinking all these things. In reality, you're you, you're he, he's already in lethal range. Even at full health, even if he had like a thousand health, he's in lethal range. And, and imagine if you throw a shark like right here. Level three shark lands. How much damage is that? 400. How much magic does he have? 49. That's like. It's like 35 percent reduction. So your your E. Hey, I like how you level up your abilities. That's really good. Okay, uh, your E does like 130 or 230. This does. About let's see plus your auto seventy eight. It's two hundred. Like let's say this does like three hundred altogether. His health's at so four hundred, three hundred, it's seven hundred. You plus your autos. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think you could kill him actually. Now that I think about it. Hold on, let me think a little bit more. Abilities. This is this proc again, right? Your, your, revol your revolver. It's like bonus 80. Well, how much health would he get back from you, right? Deals, ex deals d percent maximum health damage and heals for percent damage. If I only heal like 100 from you or something stupid, something a little bit. Yeah, so if you get all your damage off on him and he, and he ultis you, you just walk walk into your minion wave or you walk up and then he can't get away because your Q's up or something. You just Q him and he dies. Yeah. But instead, you let him get all this, you miss your ult. Like, all this was like late reaction, you, all this was like like uh, preemptive. If he kills himself, so it doesn't matter. Did he even ult you? Yeah, he did ult you. Fucking kind of tough is okay. Right, what do you buy? You just rush code about. Uh, how much more gold do you have at this point? Can I tell? Uh, hmm. I'm just pressing all the buttons right now. How do I look at the gold you have? I forgot there's a button for that. Let me see. Hotkeys interface. X. Try X. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's like 800. That's like you had 1,200. You could have got Merc treads. So those two buys you could get Merc Trades or a Kindling Gem. Uh, Merc Trades is this more gold efficient buy, and it's probably good against Annie. But I don't think you need it really. I think Kindling Gem is fine. But they're both both are viable buys. I would just either way, if yeah. Go ward. Yeah, that's this is a good time to ward. Alright, um, maybe, okay, I think if, if you're playing like super aggressive, right, and you need your jungler with you, and you know that, 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 that the bush is warded, uh, I would control ward there, but, I, but, but you offer more to your team if you control ward here, right, covers a lot more, does a lot more, and, and you can place like a, like a regular ward like right here or something, like you're so far ahead, that you, you have the luxury of like putting a word here, a deep wording there. 
I would show this as hard as I can, and and I would what I've started doing now is taking as much farm as I can, even from the jungle. So I would try to go down here. But you notice Annie, and they're fighting me up here. Uh, do you do you honestly think you're gonna kill Urgot? And and if I get away right now, if I like move up or flash away, like, like do you think I'm gonna let myself die? Probably not if I have flash up. And and the, and the second they, they they get a lockdown on me or they're going to, I'll flash away. They'll disengage, and by the time you get there, you just wasted your time. When you could have counter jungled a cane, right, you could taken his rates. That adds up. It adds a lot to you. You could have pushed the tower more. You could you could have. Uh, how much gold do you have right now? You could have bought your proto belt, right? You could have finished your proto belt, which is pretty huge. But uh, it pays off in the end. But this this room, I wouldn't do this room. I, I would um, do other things instead. And you never know if your teammates are going to be shitheads and steal your kills. <laughs> and you need to spend time walking back. And you got to push this in. And when you get back, she has free time to farm the wave. And she died so many times, I don't think it was worth it to kill, kill her there. Like, you can only get like, like uh, 150 gold from her. And then, but... Like, you kill her? Well, I'm gonna pause it right now. Well, let's say you get 150 gold from her, right? And then you you back, which you should be backing, and then and then she gets like 150 gold from the wave, and that's what you miss out on. So you just trade, and so you even up the gold. She gets more XP than you. I I think you should start like like auto. You, like the second you Q, you get auto off. Oh, that was clean. Oh, you, you missed your thing. If you would have got your proc off, you would have killed her. You just missed by that. Uh, let's watch that again. So, uh, if you get max range all on her, she dies. But I, I would have tried to Q through too. Like right here, I was just ulti. I'll just press it because she's like staying still, and she won't like react in time. And that would that would hit her. Or was it up? It might not have been up. It might have been up like right now. Hmm. I don't know. I think he could have killed her. He got away with it too. Back, maybe it'll be fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right, not even close. Maybe all you and follows you to your, your, your fucking <laughs> fountain. All right, no, 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 no. You, you um, roaming by here it won't accomplish much, right? Because. They should have wards in the in the in the river. Janice should have wards in the river from how dominant they had, like how how well they were playing the lane. Like this should be warded up. Uh, this should be warded. How even maybe even this should be like have a control ward in it, right? And and the second they see you, they're gonna give up on this bird kill and just back up to the tower, and you can't do anything, right? But let's see what happens. Well, actually, let me let me. What's up when I press for fog of war? I. I don't know what I pressed for fog of war, but I'm just gonna do it manually. Uh. So they have a word here. They have a control word there. They should have a word here. But let's play it. Let's play it out. See you. They don't see you coming. Alright. Yeah, you don't get nothing off that. As you should, you shouldn't. You should get nothing from that. And and look, look at Annie. Um, let's watch. Let's just watch Annie the whole time you're there. Actually, let's just do that. Let's see what she gets out of that. Okay, so right now, uh, 
You're level 10, right? She's level 7. She's almost level 8. So you have three levels on her, right? And if you're here, you put pressure on her, so where, where, where she can't last at the minions with her abilities, because, cause, well, you haven't shown that you could trade her under tower yet, but I would hope you could, you should, you should show her that. So, so, so she would just auto the minions under tower and lose a lot of CS. Okay, so let's look at her, the gold you guys have. Uh, you have like uh, 1,800 up on her, which is huge, just absolutely huge, plus a huge level advantage, plus numbers on her, like the numbers just like makes this tilts and put, puts pressure on Annie. Okay, so let's, keep, let's, look, let's look at this, let's look at this, okay, you know, let's just watch Annie, let's click Annie and let's watch her. You shouldn't have gotten that. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Alright, so... Let's see. How much gold difference is this? Yeah, shut down and she like 2k up, I guess. Oh, she has four four hundred. Hmm. Yeah, you're like two K up. <laughs> With her XP. She, she caught up a bit in, in XP. All right. Well, that realm should not work. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Like, if you're in, if you're in like gold elo, like that wouldn't work. I don't think. But that was good. Like that you got that kill. That you picked up something. Like you got something out of it. But it, it would be more beneficial if you just kill her again and pressure tower, pressure the jungle, right? Ward his jungle. The, 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 the rewards of winning your lane is you get words in the jungle and, and, and you, you keep shutting them down and you push, put them so far behind, right? You make them useless. But if you're playing like, like the Rome Fizz a lot, a lot of times they catch up in CS, they catch up in XP and, and, and they become relevant again. And and the jungler has free free range to like go or counter jungle you, which is something that's pretty terrible when that happens. <laughs> a lot of times it's it's luck, right? Like like who who would have known that Twitch didn't just run up and run all the way around again like, versus you, or like he would just went went back around or wrapped around. Like who know he was run run into you and die, right? <laughs> so <laughs> it's a lot of randomness. I don't know if you had all or not, but if you did. Dead. Uh huh. Ulti? And I guess you didn't have it. Unless you're greedy thinking that'll kill. Happens a lot to me. But there's a Janna. Like say you see Janna, you just you just let him die. Cause he was like because Janna has should have exhaust, Janna should have his shields, Janna should have a lot of stuff. I think Janna even had ultimate, to be fair. So you have the most gold in the game, everyone's feeding. That's good, I'm proud of you. Get tower. Getting tower here, probably not the best thing. But if it's, no, if it's first tower, it's good, Never mind. But I was saying like, if it wasn't first tower, you probably should leave the tower. Uh, Cause it, it, makes, it makes her play up more, and it, makes, it denies her more CS. Fits her more behind. And, and instead of getting a tower, you could have been down here to probably kill one of them. Do something there, maybe. Yeah, little decisions like that. Again, my hindsight 2020, you know, I see everything. Uh, he's pushing this again. The, main, the reason why I don't want you to roam is because, like, typically, like, people don't, they don't know how to roam, you know? This room's fine. You, you, like if you roam with your jungler, that's fine. It's always fine. One hundred percent fine. You should always roam with your jungler because it makes everything like one hundred percent. Oh, he's standing on the shark. You shark push away so you can queue. That's good. You get the kill. Right, that's good. Yeah, you should always roam with your jungler. Like, those are those are good, those are good rooms. Your tower's gone. You get this tower. 
Actually, what I would do, I wouldn't even get this tower. I'll, I would uh, cut up or, or break up the two dragon. Where's your, where's your guy? Because this push is doing it in a very bad position. As, you, as, as what's happening right now, like you see it. Um, yeah, and then the, like the second you kill Twitch, the instant you kill Twitch, you, you need to just be like, oh, dragon, 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 dragon. Right? Unless the tower is half health, don't go for dragon. Don't go for tower, because you're just you're just not gonna get in time. It's, it's just not gonna happen. Like these plays are for dragon, not for towers. That's that's what I would do, right? Like like a lot of times if you see me play, like you see me type like uh, towers full health do dragon, just because. It's because this is more uh, confirmed. This is more risky. This is more out there. This is probably isn't going to happen. And 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 if they see you gone, right? Like if they see you not there, like instantly you'd be like, okay, maybe maybe like push this wave out or something to still like, pressure them. You eat it. You use everything you have, and then you go to dragon. Like like, oh, they have words there. You know, yeah, at this point, you should have like a virgin clearing words, or some, something. Or Nivea should have that too, or maybe Nivea should have some words. She doesn't, but you know, it's like the, the life you chose to live. And if you're right here, it's easier to disengage than it is over here under the tower. But you guys keep going. Like, um, what when you're watching this, Jay, ask yourself, what do I get out of this? Why? Why am I here? What? What's gonna happen? Because, because I, I'm sure that, that when you ask yourself, like, what's gonna be accomplished here? It's gonna be nothing. <laughs> Nothing's gonna be accomplished. Like, it's gonna take you like 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 a minute and a half to get this, maybe two minutes. Fuck you. I think you get out, that's good. And if you're at Dragon, it probably would have given time to Quinn to get there. It probably would have given time for, uh, I don't know, for Nivea to, like, it would be good for Nivea because you could put wa walls in the jungle, you know, like, like play, play the map more. Having Ocean is pretty nice. I think they get dragon now because it's because you guys fuck it up. Yeah, so like, like they could done the scene that you did and went for tower and died, <laughs> right? But they they got dragon instead. I think because the got pinged it a lot. You get merc trades pretty okay, but uh, I think maybe not merc trades would have been this this game. Maybe uh, early on merc trades would have been pretty good, but right now I think Nature Tabby is, is a superior buy just because the Annie's so far behind. She has not building damage at all. She's just building on defensive items so she doesn't die to you. And Urgot, autos, you know, Twitch's autos, Kane has autos. Yeah, I think if you went Ninja Tabbies, you would have been ungodly tanky. Shit's funny, dude. <laughs> Kane versus Kane, like what? Yeah, what? Come on, dude. It's funny. Okay. Sheen's probably shouldn't have gotten Sheen. Maybe. I don't know what you should have got. Probably Zonia's. Well, if you have Zonia's ninja tabs, uh, you make it so you can fight or got more. And basically, you should just be itemizing against Urgot because of how strong he is right now. Biggest threat. All right, max rain all. You kill it. All right, you saved, you saved your E. I'm proud of you. 
Awesome. That's 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 some good priority, dude. Like, like that's it. Like you can use that as an example. Like, so you can show someone, like, hey, if you're mini fist, like this is how you should do it. This is how you should dive. That's good. All right, you run up. Uh, <laughs> All right. Why so fast? Yeah, you're good. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why did you? Why'd you why you? What were you thinking there? Ouch. Why would you do that? I don't understand. You just need to get away from me. You can't kill him. I'm gonna have y'all. Oh, I'm boosted. No! <laughs> Alright, so basically, you're, you're, he, he's not in lethal range. If you have your ult, uh, maybe. But you don't. So, I don't know what you're thinking there. Like right there, that was just the only thing I could tell you just disengage. Like both people from both parties said, "Hey, um, team fight's done. That's fine. Um, just go back to farming, right?" But you stuck, you stuck around. And you're like, "No, I wanna, I wanna in." So <laughs> I don't, know. I don't understand that part. <coughs> <coughs> uh, I need some water. Got water right here. Uh, so your goal should be. How do I take objectives, and what does my team want to do, and what's the correct thing to do, and how can I make my team do the correct thing? If they do the correct thing, that's a bonus, but you know. Typically, games you're going to have are going to be like this. The, the, the games that, that where it matters being good. Like, these games matter for you to be aware. Uh, let's kill Annie again, right? <laughs> like, that's so terrible! You need to work on that, dude. Go and practice and just practice that. Use a flash you shouldn't have, and you lost like a thousand health you shouldn't have because of that. Oh no. Quinn! No! Alright. So you can pay Quinn, I like it. Let me jump back again. Let me tell you more about that fight. Yeah, I can't, it just came down to use Man and Shark, and then it means you can't fight Ergon anymore. That's all, that was, this is all your fault right here. Maybe instead of roaming bot lane, uh, maybe you could roam top. Killed Ergon with me. Mr. Shark, not a big deal. I would, I would eat over for Twitch right there. I would, I was just like just all in on Twitch. But then I probably would have died there to Kane. Kane does a lot of damage. That was good though. You went for Jana. That's that's a that's a better play than the play I would have done. It's more, it's more of a confirm. Alright, yeah, he's dead. I don't know what he's thinking. Nice, got the kill. Impressive that you, that you managed to secure the kills. That's good. I would eat that. I would eat a second. She does out her W. I would have stayed on her too, though. To be honest. Yeah, you back. You got stuff done. Yeah, I think you got tower or something. I don't know what you got off that. Maybe follow up here because Urgot's overextended. Yeah, Urgot's overextended. Like you should have came up here, and he should be dead. Quinn's coming in. You'll be here. Yeah, you would have got Urgot for sure. Like. Like it's it's fine to back when when Urgot's right here and I'm right here and I die, but when when Urgot's right here and Kane's right here and Quinn's right here and 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 you could be right here, that's that's uh he's dead. And that probably would help decide the game later on, as you being able to kill him right here. Oh my God, no! Like imagine if you were here sooner, right? Yeah, imagine if you're there sooner. Alright, let's get your itemization. 
Uh, you need to kill Urgot. Urgot. You need. He needs to die. So you probably, I probably would have went like like um some pen. I think. You know what? This game. I'm gonna be real right now. This game. Uh, haunting guys. Source boots would have been pretty good here. I think they would have been really good. Because nobody has magic pen or magic resist. And and you you'd be doing true damage to Urgot. And it wouldn't matter how much health he has. Like if you have someone else with you, he's dead because of that. And then the second he gets like a magic resist item, you get a uh, rod. And then, and he's still dead. I, I think that's the correct play here because I don't this this numeric trades hasn't helped you at all. Your ninja tablets will help help you a lot, but I think just being able to kill Urgot, it, the the rest of the team will fall. Like they're just scatter split up because they don't because Urgot is the only thing that like, lays out a path for them to follow. And without Urgot, uh, they're kind of all over the place. Uh, I, I will stop, stop ulting Annie. She got too tanky. Eat that? You didn't eat it? Okay. Oh, wait, uh, that's fine. Trade that damage. Can you keep hitting tower? Sure. What's going on over here? I don't know if you looked over here. I would've came up. Uh huh. All right. If there were better players, probably would have died. Oh, <laughs> holy shit, dude! Yeah, if you want Sork shoes, like, so if you want Lich Bane. So protobelt lich Bane into hunting guys into uh, uh, while well, having short shoes, um, he would be a lot he, like he wouldn't be a problem. All right, right as as of now, right? And and you don't finish Donius because because you just need like 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 if you die or not it doesn't decide if you win if you win the team fight. It's if Urgot dies you win the fight. Okay, okay, so. So you have all these guys and you have like, how much gold do you have right now? At 400, you have like a thousand right now? Thousand-ish, maybe 1,200. And you just, you just farm like, like a lot. Like you probably would just like go down bot lane or do something or let them take like a tower or two. And this is where you get Void Staff. And with Stork Shoes, Void Staff and Hunting Guys, I, I think you could one shot or got. I don't finish the Andres. You shouldn't finish the Andres. Because they just don't have enough like uh, threats that have HP for you f to to warrant that. You just need to hunt you guys for the for the uh, magic pen. Okay, wh where should you be right now? Uh, top lane would be pretty good for you to be. Uh, bot lane would be pretty good. If you get mid tower, that's good. But yeah, I don't think you're gonna get mid. Going in the jungle, farm it, take the take the rates would be pretty good. Going and take the golems is pretty good. Warding, warding up the base is pretty good. This is fine. I would have waited just a little bit for the minions to get there. TP I already got. But if you waited for the minions to get there, uh, you would you would probably landed your ultimate. Kane probably wouldn't have taken so much damage. Probably would have killed them both. And then when Urgot got there, uh, you, you guys probably could have turned Urgot maybe. And but you wouldn't have killed him, but you would have forced him back. What decides if you kill him or not is if you have the items I said and if you have ult. And you get level three ult. That's what decides if you kill him or not. So your mechanics on fist and your priorities are pretty good. Um, they're around my level, but your your decision making and and what you what you prioritize outside of lane or, or how fast you want to get out of lane isn't that isn't good. I think since your mechanics are good and you know when you have lethal, uh, from what I learned here, you should probably start taking uh, TP and and learn 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 your your new lethal without TP. I mean without ignite. 
That'll, be, that'll keep you homework. That will help you improve as a player. Because it will it'll force you to be aware to make use of it. That's good. That was really good on you. Uh, uh, you, you when you the, when you eat, where you eat, and how and and making it the the delayed e. That was really good. And you getting the kill is really good too. Andrews isn't good here. Wait, wait, it's not. It's not that. It's not good. It's okay here, you know. But you could have had um, hunting guy, stork shoes, and void stuff right now. To be honest, this game I probably wouldn't have built that. I probably would have built what you have right now. But uh, now that I look at this game, it's pretty. It makes sense. It looks like that would be a good build here. This is like the one of the only times where stork shoes is is good. So right here, you would go in the jungle, where the jungle, take the farm, take the, take this. Take this farm, go slash on it. Don't let any of you get it. Oh, Annie. Well, yeah, you know where anyone is, so. Like, ward, here. All right, take the, take the raids. Ulti this guy, ulti this monkey. That's good. Back off now. Just in case, let him die. Okay, that's good. That's really good. See, like your team fighting mechanics are really good. Uh, I don't. Know. Should make more D. You get it. You, you probably get like flat. I don't know, man. He looks like me. Uh. uh almost popped off there. Dude, he's crazy. You went, you went a little too ham. You're dead, that's fine. After that kill, you guys should have backed off. You should have, you should have went in for Twitch. But you got him, so that's really good. I don't think you would, you'll get him. But the team didn't realize that they needed to back off after that, so they died. Still going. Should you should take in red and should take golems. That's good. You ult him. That's that's really good. That's a good catch. <laughs> yeah, you lose because you can't do it there. You got pretty much. Uh, you could have about, let me see how much gold you have, you could have like a, maybe a thousand, two thousand more gold at this point if you just kept, like, taking like a lot of, like, jungle farm as well. In between lanes, or in between, uh, CS waves. This game is just you guys do slowly, right? You back for your? I'll say you wait staff, right? Are you back to get this? Okay. Stay on him. Uh, no. Okay, you got him. Nice. He's not impossible to kill, he's just hard to kill. And now you have the tools to kill him, I'm pretty sure. 
like how you don't tunnel Annie. That's good, but you die anyways, could you? I don't know what your team was. I guess they weren't there with you. Just be more aware when you where your team is, I guess? I don't know. Uh, there's not, not much more to say about this game. Uh, you just lose slowly because your team is garbage. Welcome to the fucking club. Way too tanky, man. That was about all. No, nothing is gonna happen off that all. No one's, no one's gonna get anything off that. He's gonna bait your teammates. Seven hundred. Imagine if you have ult now. Probably could kill me if you have ult now. The ult does like what, like, like 1,200 or something? 1,000 damage? It, pract it practically is true damage, because if you have Shark Shoes, it would have been like around true damage. Yeah, nothing more to say here. Uh, you did really well this game. This entire game, you did really well. Um, lane wise, you did really well. Uh, only things you should work on, though, are probably just think a little bit more about itemization. Just think a little bit more on it. Uh, I think it takes practice to know. Uh, I didn't even know what you should build here, to be honest, until like after seeing the VOD. Knowing when to roam and when not to roam. Like the times you roam weren't that good. Uh, the only like like the, the, the time you roam with the jungler was pretty good. Uh, the game gets harder, but you you play it out pretty well. Uh, you don't die. It's important. Can you just lose here. We did it, DB1. Good job, good job, good job. Let me look at your runes, my masteries right now. Let me bring them up. Okay. Oh, I still have the texting up there. <laughs> my bad. Alright. View your profile. Hmm. Poseidon versus Major Poseidon versus King Slayers. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you need you need scaling health on these. You need scaling health yellows, um, armor qu two armor quints, uh, purple, and then scaling ability power blues. Just just put the time in for those, the money. Just whatever. Let right, me look at your match history. Yeah, it seems like when you normally play Fizz, you do really well. What is this one? Yeah, you're fine. Probably could have crushed your lane a bit more, instead of focusing on all their lanes. Just rank, dude. Just rank up, and then... Would you, when you start to play more people who are more around your level... Then I, then I could probably more analyze more, because that Annie was really not good at all. She built right. She probably had a friend that was telling him what to build. 
She built really. She built correctly. I was really good towards the end. She was useful. Oh yeah. What's up? Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. That's, yeah. Just rank, dude. I think you could probably get gold or um, platinum until you can stop caring, carrying, and people will punish you for making terrible moves. But when that happens, that's that's when the real analysis will start. But this one, you just stomp lane because the anti wasn't good. You, you roamed and you weren't punished for it because the bot lane wasn't good. And then the second you had to do a top lane, you, they, he was pretty good. So, <laughs> yeah. Good luck, man.